come to ISBR, we were, uh, it was a pleasure to have you with us. The interview, uh, the guest lecture, it was really inspirational for many of us like who are not aware of the entrepreneurship. It's it gonna really help us with that. Thank you. Without wasting much of your time, let's begin the interview. Sure. Uh, can you tell us, uh, you have just uh, founded Zika.com. Jobs. Jobs, so, yes. can you please tell, uh, tell us more about it? So, Jobs, we connect people to happy jobs. We do that using a machine learning algorithm at the back. The entire idea is to have people, if they're happy with a job, to let them stay there. If you're looking for something better, to make it very easy for them to find another job based on preference, location, interests, whatever it is. Unlike in the old days, you only had databases. There are many job portals which are databases. We said, let's add a layer on top of it, see what the candidate wants, see what the company wants, use artificial intelligence in the background, but make it very simple for both. So, check out jobs, that's that. Uh, you need to find that What does it reflect? I think, for me, right through life, and not just at work. I paint, mixed media, I like photography, I, uh, I like reading a lot. And most importantly, I found that if you let your imagination be you can go to places you haven't been before, where you don't even know you can be there. As a guiding principle, if you're choosing not just for yourself, but if you for the rest of your team, to say, okay, let's think, let's imagine, and let's go to do it. We start off with that spark of the imagination, which is why I call myself an imaginator. Uh, what makes you got our jobs unique and fair to its competitors? I think the good thing about competition, the recent past, is a lot of them are embracing technology. So, most of anything, I'm very, very happy that there are new age companies embracing technology. There are lots of them doing that. But if I go back from 2000 to 2015, plus minus, there were just databases. So for the first time, making it very, very easy for candidates to find good jobs which match them without having to search to hundreds and saying, okay, I dropped this, I like this. So for example, if you want a job in Bangalore, and let's say you're living in an electronic city. Ideally, you would like a job which suits your five mile radius. Today, you might find a job which will search the Bangalore and Mangata Tech Park. Yeah, that's a great job you would never have taken. You're not going to spend two hours in traffic. But Ficker, Ficker takes that into account. Second, let's say you're a corporate person who likes big companies and bigger brands. And let's say you're both a startup girl. And you're picking jobs. Right? Because as you start off, I don't know about you. But as you start picking jobs and you tend to go more towards startup jobs and you're inclined more towards larger corporate brands, the engine learns what you want and it then starts recommending more and more jobs to your preference. So it's completely customized to you. And for you, it's a very simple interface where you just see jobs and then the right jobs start popping up. So you're not wasting time. Absolutely. So, sir, can you share your experience on the appeals of your entrepreneur? Oh, there have been like so many times where, uh, so many times where you don't know what to do. Right? So many times where you don't know how you can get past a hurdle, except that belief in yourself, and. Uh, Without going into exact details, there have been instances where the firm was running out of cash, there have been instances where the competition was either funded a lot more or there was a new technology that was coming in which the client wanted to incorporate and we didn't have an immediate answer for that. And into those stages, I think you have to, other than the belief in yourself, you have to know that you and more important the team with you can figure out an answer and can overcome that. But then that simple thing will get you through a lot of things. Not just at work, but like. Uh, how effective do you think social job platforms are today? Pretty effective to one extent of 
exploring a person's personality a lot more. Uh, also, people are very conscious now of what they put on certain platforms, right? So, for example, when your Facebook provides something, it provides there's only so much that you, you would either choose to share, or even if I saw that you are at parties and have tattoos and this and that, you really should not make a difference. I think the issue comes where you're cutting across generations, when you have a candidate who's let's say 20s, and a manager in the 50s or 60s, right? 50s. That's where the disconnect happens. Otherwise, I feel social media, not as a platform for recruiting, but as a platform to understand people better, is really useful. So, what, what is the first thing that came in your white mind when uh, you started with uh, picture jobs? Because the competition at that time was very high. When you compared to other days, yeah, it's still going well. So, what is the first thing? the mind when the competition is very high taking a risk of starting this right so i think two three things one is even before starting Flickr, there was a lot of thought it's not that we started it overnight there was about six months of research right. there were about eight different ideas we had evaluated we had to drop some to come through that were there figure out the co-founding team that are on the line for that figure out whether the investors would be aligned to that whether they see that as interesting enough whether your family support is there, if you're going to take another three, four, five years, we can answer questions and stuff. Yeah, and without the support, you're not going to do it. So, I think there are so many thoughts, but it's not like a point in time. It's a continuous process that we will still be going through. Sir, uh, what tips you would like to give to MBA graduates, graduates uh, who are going to be Right. Um, two or three things. One is whether you're an MBA person, whether you're an engineering person, whether you're a person that to a large extent is irrelevant. As long as you're able to think of the business benefit that you will bring a firm, whether you're interested, that's point number one. Second is you should be a doer. If you all think of yourself, sir, I am a strategy person and I will strategize, it is good. Even better is if you can convert that strategy into action. Well, be ready to go to your hands. But like uh, we discussed, was sales. Remember that whether your title is head marketing or HR or junior assistant or whatever, you need to have the element of selling in a way with you. That's all. That's all I would say. So, so what is the managing both work and life together? So, what, how do you face the situations? How do you manage both of them? You all start, sir. You can never balance work and life. You have to just go up on one of them or whatever the political incorrect term. You have to just make trade offs and live with those trade offs. There are multiple instances when my wife. She works at Infosys, she's a full-time career person, we have two kids, both of us are in different countries and the kids are here with grandparents, they're not very happy about that, or on their anniversary one of us is traveling. So I think the only key thing is to first appreciate and understand that there is no work-life balance really that you can do, but to acknowledge that when you have time with each other, make the most of it. That brings you at peace. It's fundamentally it's setting what it is. Yeah, that's all. If you had a chance to start again, what do you think you Start thicker again? I mean, we're too young in that I sense. Know. Start my career again. Career again, would I do something different? I haven't thought about it that way because, fortunately, almost everything that we do, everything that I've done, I've enjoyed myself. I've had good friends, good mentors, good colleagues. So, my philosophy has almost been that if you're thrown into a situation, make the most of it and figure out which door you want to open. So, uh, touch wood, God's been very kind. I don't know if I'll change anything. Uh, this kind of difficulty. It is just a key thing. Today's a classic case uh, of that. You know, you know, you know, yeah, it's a typical office day. Theoretically, I would leave home. They finish their breakfast by about 7.30. So I'm in office by about 8.15 in the morning. 
and uh, plan to fly to the east. So, usually, a day is between 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening, plus or minus. But uh, I do at least a couple of client meetings till then, sitting with your internal team to see where the products are. Going out for these are drinks with competitors, right? And when I say competition, one of you will ask me about co competition. When you're a small startup and all of you are looking to survive, and you realize the market is big enough, you will absolutely collaborate with each other because it will help both of you survive. Today, when we're building a product, one of the big ideas of how we can solve something came from a potential competitor. It didn't matter to him that he was sharing something. Okay, so, so you said that the uh, CEO of Nokia.com is your friend. He's your senior profile. Yes, yes. Share one so, Hitesh is a senior of mine for that And I think for 2000, he's been this company. Both in sharing the experience with him, right? I think he's running a very large, successful company. We have phenomenal success, but also an equal set of challenges that he has to take care of. And there are multiple smaller firms. Right? There is another boss of my nation, Kings. Who used to help in the start times shine? Shine is at the uh, So, when you talk to these people, and when you get inputs from them, because they would have traversed through this industry the last 10 15 years, and I've just spent 15 months of this, and there's so much of an input that you can get, it's very, very useful. Extremely, yes. So, can you describe one word, Mr. Hanan? <laughs> Experimental. Okay. What gets you out is the pain in the mind. Yeah. It's what movie is. Awesome. That's a movie. It's very good. What gets you out is the pain in There is something to be done which I enjoy doing. And one of the good things you are both a good people, and I said there is a good thing that you do when I describe it. So, I'm absolutely trying to take family to work with my daughter's work. Some holiday, she can paint or do whatever she has to do. Just work together. It's very interesting because you meet so many different people in a day, including a place like this, whether it's young students or professors like uh, Professor Nanaya. So much there is to learn, right? Opportunity to interact with people, and I think being an entrepreneur or whatever I'm doing, it's given me that. On a lighter note, sir, we would like to know how do you manage work life balance? I don't. I just have to buy her important gifts so that she's happy. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I think in the old firm, for example, we try to do a lot of things both at work and with families of the days. Right? Because to a large extent, all you're trying to do is build an understanding in each other of what is there, so that people are then very accommodative of, okay, I know you have to take a call at that night. I know it wasn't planned that you can't come for this wedding. The moment both partners understand that of each other, then it's so, it's easier. I'm not going to say easy, but it's easier to get along with each other. That's it. Uh, what do you do? I'm online. I paint. Uh, I it's a hobby. It's a hobby. It's so. Oh no, no, she do whatever she wants to do. That is her thing. But I like to play with uh, colors, whether it's paint, not just painting on bottles, but doing stuff on mixed media on different kinds of canvases. The canvas can be a bottle, the canvas can be a person. And we saw you that you did. We are very grateful to have you guys here today in our campus. It was a very well day spent with you. You have given your valuable time to us to and uh, share your experience in the entrepreneurial journey. And thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Bye.